Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook. We're live. We're doing it live. That's right. I was listening to the Rolling Stones. So stealthy, so animal quiet. Good music. Hello, Daniel. How you doing? Hello, Deborah. Obrigado. Hello, Amin. Hello, uh, Privet. Hey, uh, Carlos. How you doing, Carlos? Dima. Privet. Privet. Alan. Que pasa, Alan? Fine, Amin. How are you? Clesius, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you, Clesius. How about yourself? Zera from Azerbaijan. Welcome. Adriano. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon from Brazil. CHF Pineda Perez. Hello. How you doing, Pineda Perez? Uh, Andrew says, Privia. How you doing? Uh, Anna. How you doing? Hi. Hi, Alan Silva from Brazil. Thank you. Chen Yoli. Hi. Welcome. Marco. It's going great. Carlos. The best music in the world. Rock. I have to agree. I was just listening. Get out of there. My cat. I was just listening to the Rolling Stones. I like the Stones. Adriana from a Peruvian in France. Excellent. How do you like France? I heard Peruvian food is really good. Rafael. Hi, Rafael. Mm, from the Ukraine. Great. From the Ukraine. Andre Melnik. Great. How you doing, Andre? Thank you for joining me. Marco from Mexico, right to the south. How you doing? Mahmoud, how you doing? Raphael, little Pivon from France. Hello, Pivon. Hey, what's up, Lita? Lita's in the house. Happy when Lita's here. Hermes is here. I know you, Carlos. Alan Perda. We're going to talk about something. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember what the story was about. But I'll tell you. It was in the newsletter. Who got the newsletter? You guys get the newsletter yesterday? Hi, Anna. Hello, Caleb. Hi, Bruna. Hi, Gennaro. Oops. Uh, currently sitting on the beach in the south of Italy. Oh, that sounds lovely. That's great. Gennaro is sitting on the beach in the south of Italy. Excellent. Uh, Joaquin says, great channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, my dear friend. Flower, 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 flower. Hi, my dear friend. Hi, Juan. Hi, Mert. Hi, Pavel. Pavel. All in Russia on Facebook. Uh, hi. Hello. Privet. Hi, Mary from Iran. How you doing, Mary? Din Wang Le from Vietnam. Welcome. Kam Ung. Thank you for joining me. Hi from Chile. Juan is in Chile. Excellent. Bum, bum, bum. Gabriel, just dropping by to wish you a great day. I'm a big fan. Gabriel, thank you very much. Joanne in Poland. Thank you very much. Chikuye. Chikuye. Thank you. Mary Luz. Hi. How you doing? Hassan Dao. Hi. From Chile. Great. Rafael. Great channel. Thank you. Rina from... Uh, hola desde Varsovia, Polonia, un fuerte. I have no idea. Uh, Mary says, I got the newsletter, but I have not read it yet. Privet to Anton. Uh, yeah, we got a, a good newsletter this time. Lots of comments about our newsletter. Let me see if I can open it up here. Opening up the newsletter. Ba, 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 ba. Pizza! So the story, oh, the story is a crazy story about some lady, some lady with her eye. Yeah, so I'll tell you about that. That's the news story. We got some good vocabulary, a funny story. It's a crazy story, crazy story. Uh, let's see. In the newsletter, a great picture from Buenos Aires. Coach Shane in Buenos Aires. That's right. Last week. I was in Buenos Aires. Good picture. Good picture of me. I look good. I look good. Thank you, Pablo, for that. Uh, we've got Sarah from Brazil, uh, traveling in Brazil. 
Uh, we see her at the beach. We see an Easter tree, a wind farm. We see Sarah fixing a flat tire on the uh, just a fantastic beach near Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Uh, really great pictures from Sarah. And then you see this. This. Yeah. Woo! This is my new mouse pad. I have two two mouse pads. The other one I threw away. This is just boring black boring black mouse pad so I decided to get something really cool I got this mouse pad this is the coolest mouse pad in the world and it was cheap it was like two dollars really really cheap I love it so you see my mouse pad in my then you see my muscular body and I'm holding something. Does anybody know what I'm holding in the first picture of me? I'm holding to this, I'm holding on to this big thing. It looks like a frying pan, but it's not. This is in the newsletter, so I'm curious if anybody knows what I am holding. I'm holding on to something. I wonder what it is. I'll tell you, I'm, I'll wait for your comments here. Lots of highs here. Lots of first-time people. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ba, 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 ba. What am I holding in my hand in the first picture? A pizza holder. That's the right idea, Anna. There's a special name for it, though. We don't say pizza holder. We have a special name for it. What could it be? What could it be now? Boom, 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 boom. What could it be now? Doom, doom, doom. What could it be knocking at my door? Boom, 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 boom. Alfio says, I don't see the picture. Alfio, Adriano, you have to open up the newsletter. Get the newsletter. A pizza stone. Okay, so I had the pizza stone in my grill. I had the pizza stone in my grill, and, uh, okay, I'll go get it. I'll show you what it is. Hold on. Who could it be knocking at my door? This is it. Yeah. This thing right here. What is this? Ooh, yeah. Sexy. Yeah, look at that. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. This is for pizza. Pizza as big as my head. What is this called? Men at work. That's right, Eddie. Men at work. Eddie, good job. Uh, it's not a spoon. What, are you going to eat cereal with this? <laughs> Can I have some ice cream? I want a spoon. Give me a bigger spoon. I want the biggest spoon you have. That, everybody is called a giant spatula good that's good that's good a shovel <laughs> that's not funny no i'm just joking uh, no it's not a shovel it's a pala per pizza okay good so in english a tennis racket no in english we call it a pizza peel p-e-e-l a pizza peel yeah, so you see a picture of my pizza peel. I really like my pizza peel. It's fantastic. If you make pizza, if you have a pizza stone, you need to have a pizza peel. If you're making pizza at home, because pizza can be really heavy. I've got some pictures of my pizza with a lot of toppings. The pizza's really heavy. So we need this peel. I guess in Italian, pala, pala, pala. Uh, we need that pizza peel, and then you can move the pizza onto the stone and off the stone. P-E-E-L, pizza peel. Ah, delicious. My cats are eating pizza. I'm eating pizza. It's a really good newsletter. And, of course, it has the news story that we're going to study today. Do I have an oven? I use a barbecue grill. I, use, I have a big grill, outside grill. And I cook the pizza in the grill. I cook the pizza in the grill. That's what I do. And there's pictures in the newsletter. All right. Write down 
the newsletter address. If you want the newsletter, YouTube people, you can see it, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Facebook, somebody please write it down for me, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Is it healthy for my cats to eat pizza? Uh, before they touched it, Daniel, I kicked them. I kicked them away from the table. Get out of here, you lazy cats. They don't work. They don't do anything. All right, let's get to the news. Today's news, an interesting story. It's a horrible story, actually. I hate this story. I'll start with the vocabulary words, guys. Are you ready? The vocabulary words, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just six words. Listen up. Repeat after me. Surgeon. Hacking away. Mash together. Cataract. Disposables. Irritation. That's it. Once again, too easy. If you have the newsletter, it should be really easy. Now it's time for the story. So I'm going to read the story to you guys. I will read it. Normal speed. Listen up. Surgeons were ready to start hacking away on a 67-year-old's cataract when they discovered something strange. It was a lens. No, two, three, five, 17 contact lenses all mashed together in her right eye. Later, 10 more were found. The lady said she thought her monthly disposables had just fallen out. She had no idea they had slid back into her eye. She thought the constant irritation was just old age and dry eyes. What? What? Did you guys understand that story? This story is incredible. This story is crazy. There's a lady who went to the doctor. They were going to do surgery on her eye inside her eye, they found 27 contact lenses. 27. 27 lenses in her eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, this is some pretty crazy stuff. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning. Surgeons. Surgeons. Oh, yeah. That's a type of doctor. That's the doctor with a knife. What do we have in here? Oh, it's your heart. What a, what a lovely heart. Yeah, surgeons. It's a true story, Mary Lou's. It's a true story. Yeah, it's a true story. I give you the link. It is crazy. You guys don't believe me. Hey, Coach Shane only brings the truth. All right? So listen up. Surgeons, scary doctors. Surgeons were ready. Mm, they're ready to start hacking away. Hacking away is a phrasal verb. And hacking away means to cut, C-U-T. But actually, you should imagine in a jungle. So imagine you're walking in the jungle and you're hacking like Indiana Jones or somebody in the jungle, you're hacking a path into the jungle. Or you've got a farm and you've got corn stalks or rice stalks and you're hacking, you're cutting the rice, you're cutting the corn. This is the idea of hacking. So hacking away, cutting, 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 cutting. So if you go to a hospital and you go to the surgeon, and the surgeon is going to, do you want the surgeon to hack away on you? All right, today we're going to do some heart surgery on Coach Shane. 
No, that's a terrible idea. Please do not hack away. <laughs> so it's a funny verb. Surgeon and hack away, those words do not go together. So if I put the words together, it's funny. It's funny. Okay, so again, surgeons were ready to start hacking away on a person, a patient. Who? On a 67-year-old's cataract. Okay, so it's a 67-year-old person. Where is the surgery? It's a cataract surgery. Ah, so as an American, I know the word cataract, and cataract means the eye. Okay, so this lady, this person, 67 years old, went to the hospital, and they're going to do a surgery on this lady's eye, okay? On the eye. And what kind of surgery? It's a cataract surgery. A cataract surgery. A cataract is when you get old, like me, on, the, on your eye, on the lens, or sometimes in the back of the eye. In the back of the eye is different. But anyway, on the lens of your eye, the lens inside, it can get cloudy, cloudy. So when you get older, it's kind of difficult to see clearly. And if the cataract is really bad, don't worry, I'll spell the words later. You guys must be new, I'll spell the words later. If you get a cataract, if it's really bad, it looks white. You can actually see that it's white, okay? So they have a surgery where they can remove somehow the cataract. So, this lady went to the hospital to have a cataract surgery. The surgeons were ready to hack away. But just before they began hacking away, they found something strange. They found something inside the eye. And they took it out, and it was like this, this clear, dirty, white thing. And they realized, oh my God, this is a lens, a contact lens. This, this grandmother wore contacts and they found a lens in her eye and they were looking at the lens and usually the lens is very thin, but this lens was very thick. And so they're looking at the lens and they said, no, it's not one lens, it's two. No, it's not two, it, it, it's, it's three. Wait, it, it's five. Wait, 17. 17 contact lenses all mashed together in her right eye, mashed together. So, this is the idea. This lady had a lens in her eye. The lens went to the back or to the bottom, to the top somehow. And then the lady thought the lens was gone. She put another lens in her eye. That lens eventually went to the back. It went to the other lens on top of the lens. So now you've got two lenses. But as the days go by, as the weeks go by, the lenses, they get pressed together and they almost become one. They get mashed together. 17 lenses. That's crazy. 17 lenses mashed into one giant lens. They found it in her eye. Later, Later, 10 more were found. They found 10 more, too. So, you know, obviously the lady was having problems, big problems with her eyes. They were always hurting. They were always, it was just terrible for the lady. And, and the lady said, the lady said she thought her monthly disposables had just fallen out. So she wears monthly 
disposable lenses. That means on January 1st or whatever, you know, July 1st, you put in a lens and then after one month, you take it out. And then on August 1st, you put in a new lens. That's the idea of disposable lenses. You can use it for a month. On, Jan on the 1st, you put it in. On the last day, you take it out. And then you put in a new one. Well, this lady, her, she put it in on the 1st, but three days later, the lens was gone. So she thought the lens had fallen out. So she put in a new lens. Two days later, the lens was out. So she put in another lens. She kept putting in lenses, but the lenses did not fall out. They just rolled back, rolled into her eye. Oh my God. The lady said she thought her monthly disposables had just fallen out. She had no idea they, the monthly disposables, had slid back into, had slid back into her eye. She thought the constant irritation, her eyes were hurting all the time. It was constant irritation. She thought the constant irritation was because she's old, just old age. Dry eyes, dry eyes, and old age. No. It was because she had too many lenses in her eye. Oh, my God, what a crazy story. This is a crazy story. Okay. Yeah, I've got, I've got a couple cameras. I apologize. I'm looking here and looking here. I apologize. Okay, so let's go over those vocabulary words again. Vocabulary words. Here we go. First word. Surgeons, surgeons, spelling. Here's the spelling S U R G E O N S. Surgeons, doctors with knives. Yeah, yeah. let me cut you. Oh, yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Next, phrasal verb hacking away, hacking away. Two words, H-A-C-K-I-N-G, hacking, away, A-W-A-Y, hacking away. And that means to cut, to cut, usually with an axe or a big knife. So again, hacking away and surgeons, those words don't go together. Because I put them together, it's funny. Mashed together. Mashed together. M-A-S-H-E-D. Mashed. M-A-S-H-E-D. Mashed together. T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R. You can think like this. Uh, two, uh, you get, so in my, in my glossary, it's like take two pieces of gum. You take a, a red piece of gum and a green piece of gum, and then you start chewing them together. Eventually, the gum is going to kind of stick together. Yeah, you can still see there's red gum and there's green gum, but you can still see the gum is mashed together. Your teeth mash the gum together. That's the idea. Here, the, the lenses were mashed together into one big piece. Yuck. Ugh. Cataract. Cataract. C A T A. R A C T. C A T A R A C T. Cataract. This is a medical problem <clears throat> problem where the lens of the eye, L E N S, the lens of the eye becomes cloudy. Becomes cloudy. Young people can have that problem, but it's common in older people. Disposable. Disposables, sorry, with an S. Disposables. D I S P O S A B L E S. Disposables. Disposables are contact lenses that you wear 
for a day, for a week, for a month, and then whoop, throw away. You throw them away. They're disposable. You wear them for a while, and then you throw them away. Disposables. When I was younger, I wore contact lenses, but I never bought disposables. Uh, I bought daily wear, daily wear lenses. So I would put them in the, mo in the morning, and then at night, I would take them out. And then in the morning, I would put them back in and take them out. I never wore disposables. I always wore daily wear lenses, disposables. And then finally, irritation, irritation, not disposable glasses, just disposables, disposables with an S, disposables means disposable contact lenses. So you don't have to say disposable lenses, no, no, no. You could say disposable lenses with no S, but here again, disposables with an S, which means disposable contact lenses. Irritation. Good job, guys. Irritation. I-R-R-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Irritation. Irritation. Discomfort. Itching. Ah, oh, itching. Burning. Oh, it burns. It's so hot. Oh, my God. Burning. And sore. Oh, my eyes hurt. Irritation. This lady had so many lenses in her eye. Of course, she had huge irritation. My goodness. Grandma, come on. Grandma, grandma, grandma. If the lens falls out, you should be able to find it. Oh, dear. I feel sorry for her. Under the knife. Yes, under the knife means to be in surgery. In surgery. La, da, 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 da. Any other questions? I'm just looking here quickly. Mm -mm -mm. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, disposable, right. Uh, with an M, Clisius. Catrata. Catrata in Portuguese. Cataract. Good, good. Smashed. So, okay. So, mashed together, forced together. Smashed together. <laughs> like this. So there's a difference. Smashed, <laughs> mashed, urgh. that's the difference. Yeah. You know what, guys? Uh, so why do, Coach Shane, I love doing live. Why do I like doing live? So my DDM classes, I do live. Uh, my perf classes, live. LME Live with you guys right now. Yesterday, I did the radio show, LME Today, live. Why do I do live? Because if I'm able to interact with you guys, if I'm able to interact with you guys, talk to you, see your comments, I can teach better. I can help more. Because I can teach. You know, I teach a video, boom, I'm done. But... I need to see your questions. I need to see your, your comments. So mashed and smashed, that's a great lesson point. And because I see your comment, that's why I can help you. That's right. Lita is an elite member. You bet. Leno is, Leno is here. Hi, how you doing? Great. Paulo is here. Paulo, Coach Paulo, down in Brazil. Obrigado. All right, let's keep going here. So, you guys, I'm going to say the vocabulary words one more time. I want you guys to repeat. Are you ready? Here we go. Surgeons. Hacking away. Mashed together. Cataract. Disposables. Irritation. And now I'll read the story two times. Here we go. Surgeons were ready to start hacking away on a 67-year-old's cataract. 
when they found something strange. It was a lens. No, two, three, five, 17 contact lenses all mashed together in her right eye. Later, 10 more were found. The lady said she thought her monthly disposables had just fallen out. She had no idea they had slid back into her eye. She thought the constant irritation was just old age and dry eyes. Surgeons were ready to start hacking away on a 67-year-old's cataract when they found something strange. It was a lens. No, two, three, five. 17 contact lenses all mashed together in her right eye. Later, 10 more were found. The lady said she thought her monthly disposables had just fallen out. She had no idea they had slid back into her eye. She thought the constant irritation was just old age and dry eyes. Wah, 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 wah. Bam, 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 bam. Bump, bump, bump. Where can you read that story? Get the newsletter. In the newsletter, I gave you the link. Uh, the link is, I don't even know. Bump, abcnews.go.com. Doctors find 27 contact lenses, woman's eye. You can search that. Get the newsletter, guys. Get the newsletters. All the stuff is there. All of it. It's all there. Free completely free. So I'm doing all of this stuff for you for free. Come on, get the newsletter. That's all I ask. You can do that much. Get the newsletter. For my Facebook people, I'll type the newsletter address. I don't even know how to do it. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> later. I'll type it later. Can I do it on this computer? Oh, yeah, looks like I can. I'll try here. Uh, we all live in the old submarine. I can't. Somebody type it for me. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. All right, questions. Any questions about anything? I subscribed to the best loot. I subscribed four months later. You mean four months ago. Alexander, four months ago. So you didn't read it? It's in the newsletter, Alex. Does Country Shane live in Texas? Country Shane was born in Texas. He was born in Texas. So we took Country Shane out of Texas, but still within Country Shane, there is Texas. ED verb endings. I talked about ED verb endings last week. Really quickly, one more time, really quickly. ED verb endings. If the final consonant of the root verb is aspirated, like C, F, H, K, P, S, T, uh, X, then the ED sound will sound like a T. If the final sound of the root verb is vibrated or voiced, then the final sound will probably sound like a D. A D. However, that changes. If there is linking the D, even for the word like voiced, voiced, the ED sounds like a T. But when we link voiced, voiced into, now it sounds like a D. So it depends. This is what I teach in uh, DDM uh, classes. So I recommend that you join DDM 
so you can learn how the pronunciation works. Bum, 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 bum. I know, that's exactly right, Paolo. All this free stuff, all you need to do is sign up for the free lessons. Yeah, there's an, I know, there's a woman that had a worm in her eye. I heard that story. Crazy. What effect does TV have on us? You mean for your English? Um, request, do something, people. Oh, for people who are not fluent in speaking English, absolutely, www.youtube.com slash daily dictation. Absolutely go there and study every lesson, all for free. Being, what kind of being? I know, Leno, I agree. Is it Leno or Leno? The grandma, oh, can you imagine the discomfort, the pain she was experiencing? I feel sorry for her, too. Thank you, Hassan, on Facebook. Thank you very much. Necessary, necessarily, necessity. Necessary, necessary, necessary. Necessarily, necessarily, necessity. Necessity. Surgery to put someone under the knife. Yeah. If someone goes under the knife, that means they are in surgery. If someone goes under the knife, they are in surgery. That's exactly right. Bum, bum, bum. Do you know that ED pronounced in Russian as the verb go? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know much. Don't know much about history. Don't know much geometry. Lita, are you leaving? Thank you very much, Lita. Uh, I'd like to study English with you. What do I have to do? Adriano, sign up for my free lessons. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Sign up for the free lessons. You can try the lessons, and then we'll send you information on how to join. Disposable and recyclable, very different. Disposable, you throw away. Recyclable, you use again. Disposable, boop, gone forever. Recyclable, you use again, you use again, you can use again. Marco, what's your question? DDM or what you said? DDM classes. Yeah, my DDM classes. Uh, Marco, you must not know me. Yeah, Marco. Then, if you don't know me, if you're if you're new to me, go to YouTube. YouTube.com slash daily dictation. D a i l y d i c t a t i o n. Daily dictation. Any advice for being successful on the TOEFL exam? Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, study. Uh, I've got a lot of books on the TOEFL. TOEFL, I've got tons of books on all this. So get the books. TOEFL IBT. Um, the TOEFL exam and lots of those tests, they have, uh, they have strategies, okay? So my recommendation, to be honest, if you need to take the TOEFL exam or the IELTS exam or the uh, bup, 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 TOEIC exam, two things you need to do. Number one, Study English with me. You'll learn so much. Number two, study test strategy with a teacher in your country. I'm sure there's a language institute in your country where there's a teacher who speaks your language who can teach you the strategy to take this test. Study strategy with a teacher in your language and study English with Coach Shane. DDM, DDM class is for listening. Listening and American pronunciation. Perf, perf is for speaking. Speaking. So we have DDM and perf. DDM is for your listening ability, listening comprehension, pronunciation. Perf is for speaking ability. 
Anna, the pizza was so delicious. Yeah, the pizza. I just had I had some of the pizza today. Bitcoin is down a bit, but it's going back up. Cool. Diego, how can it be possible not knowing Coach Shane? What? Do you live in Alaska? What is your problem? I agree, Diego. Yep, Alexander's right. To, to, for listening skills, there are many things you need to do. But to listen to a variety of speakers is very important. That's why in DDM, oh, you know, we have, in DDM, we have over 400 lessons. And we've got every style of English, every style of English, all the styles of American English, Australian, British, you know, whatever. We have everything. So listening to many types of English is important. However, another thing extremely important for your listening skill is your ability to pronounce words. If you have horrible pronunciation, listening is going to be tough. Can you show us your passport? I don't think I have it. Yeah, I don't have my passport. I used to have it here. I put it away. Is it here? Nope, I don't have my passport. Do you teach IELTS? No, I do not. Is that an idiom? Is what an idiom? I love your podcast. Thank you very much. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It's from a television conversation, a uh, television commercial. Uh, to be cuckoo means crazy. Cocoa Puffs is a name of a cereal. So crazy about cereal. It's a type of cereal. Crazy for Cocoa Puffs. Mm, bum, 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 bum. I always find it difficult doing English presentations. Oh, English presentations is practice. I recommend Perf. Arwa, perf might be good for you. English presentations, ah, uh, what is it? Toastmasters. Does anybody know Toastmasters, the Toastmasters? I'm sure, what country are you from, Arwa? What country are you from? Toastmasters, yeah. Arwa, what country are you from? You, you tell me that and I'll help you out for presentations. Moha, I used to watch and follow your daily dictation lesson a few years ago and they helped me so much. There you go, that's right Moha. Daily dictation, that's right Marco. I used to learn English every single day and I talked to Nader. Yep, Adriano, that's what you have to do. Thanks, Le yeah, that's right. Thank you very much, Lana. Well, Lana, you got the red, white, and blue too. Absolutely. Perf, P-I-R-F, P-I-R-F, pronunciation, intonation, rhythm, flow. Pronunciation, intonation, rhythm, flow. Perfect English. Perf is for speaking. That's right. Egypt. Okay, so let's see here. Um, Toastmasters and Egypt. Block. Yep. Uh, so are you in Alexandria or are you in Cairo? Alexandria or Cairo, Arwa? RC, I'll explain in a minute. What's the subject of the live? What do you mean the live? Your live radio. Live radio, www.lmetoday.com. One more time. www.l m e today dot com so arwa where in egypt cairo alexandria cairo so you have two toastmasters clubs in cairo and i will uh, put this link in the chat room there you go you can click on that and uh join um, I recommend that you join Toastmasters, and uh, they have two of them in Cairo. Which broadcast? How to deal with hypocrites? Don't. 
If you're dealing with hypocrites, leave the room. Uh, the world, you know what? This is the idea. Now that I'm older, and if 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 my if I know somebody who's a hypocrite, who's a liar, who tells stories, who I can't trust, whatever, I just don't trust them. I can still be friends with them. I can still be friends with them. I can say hi. You know, I can give him some pizza, whatever. But I know in an important situation, I can't trust him. That's all. Whatever. That's okay. You know, that's fine. So dealing with a hypocrite, if you know the person is a hypocrite, then that's it. Okay, fine. He's a hypocrite. Whatever. No other questions? <laughs> you guys want to see my passport? What do you want to see my passport for? My passport! My American passport! Hello, Ebisgin. What's the... Hi, Leo. What's the... Ah, uh, C-U-T and C-A-T. C-U-T is a short U. C-A-T is a short A, and to Americans, very different. The, the short U, put your hands against your uh, cheeks, uh, 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 very vertical, uh, uh, the tongue is down, uh, 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 the tongue is touching the lower hard part, uh, 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 the short A, ah, ah, the tongue is floating, Ah, 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 ah. Your mouth is really wide apart. Ah, ah, ah. So, C U T, cut, 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 cut. C A T, cat, cat, cat. So, Leo, when you can join a live class, Leo, you know, uh, July, the last week of July, July 31st until August 4th, uh, during that week, we have Week in Review. There's a Week in Review during that week, Leo. Uh, and see if you can join me. I want to hear your pronunciation. Cut cat. Don't cut the cat. Don't cut the cat. <laughs> Ah, uh, you want to verify that I am me, uh-huh. Good night, Ebisgin. Uh, in this live, oh, we already finished. Uh, we love free. We love free. We already finished. We did a news story about a lady, a grandmother, with uh, too many contact lenses. 27 contact lenses in her eye. You missed it. <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys. I am out of here. Uh, LME Live. I'll be doing another LME Live. I'm doing it live, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, not LME Live. LME Today radio show with music. We had a great show the other day. You guys need to follow me on Facebook. And make sure you see my updates. And I also recommend that you follow me on Twitter. At Coach Shane. That's the A with a circle. C-O-A-C-H-S-H-A-N-E. At Coach Shane. So when I go live, I always make the announcement on Twitter. So I want you guys to uh, check that out. And listen to LME today. It's a fantastic radio show with great music. Um, if you go to lmetoday.com, you will see two old shows, recorded shows, but we're not, uh, there's three actually, there's three, um, but we're not uh, uploading the live shows. The live shows are just live. So you guys need to. Uh, uh, be following me on Twitter, and then uh, you can you can know when I do the next one. 
Uh, yeah, I think so too. Um, will you go fishing again? Absolutely. It's yeah, I will go fishing. Maybe this weekend. I need to go fishing. The, that's the podcast. Ebby's again. Uh, LME Today. LME Today dot com. LME Today dot com. Facebook. www.facebook.com slash ESL Coach Shane. Where am I? I'm at home. When you say, what's that? Does it sound like, what's that? Um, in Ebonics, yes. In American, uh, standard American pronunciation, what's that? What's that? More of an S sound. Hiroaki. Uh, chickens are doing great. Chickens are getting big. I'm waiting for eggs. We want the eggs. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, I will be here next week, Wednesday. I hope that you can join me. Get the newsletter so you can see the vocabulary words and you can read the story. Thank you, Pavel. Pavel. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Don't forget, follow me on Twitter. I really recommend Twitter, at Coach Shane. C-O-A-C-H-S-H-A-N-E. And uh, when I go on live on the radio, lmetoday.com, you can uh, join me. I would love that. You can request songs, and I'll play your favorite song, and we'll talk about the lyrics, and we'll talk about the news. Yep, anything you want. That's it. Obrigada. Shukran. Grazie. Gracias. Come on. Tomorigato, kojaimas, kamsamira. Thank you. Chikuye, spasibo. Danke schön. Turimokashi. I think that's about it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Merci, of course. Merci. Oh my God. Sacre bleu. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, guys. Today we'll say goodbye to YouTube, first of all. Bye, YouTube.